We can do a lot of things with Android. We can install ported apps, flash custom ROMs, install custom kernel, and take an Android backup, among other things. But in order to do that, first we need to have a custom recovery installed. I'm Shubhankar Dev from TechRun's Gadgets, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a custom recovery on Android. I'll use TWRP custom recovery. I'm going to use my Motorola Moto G and I'm going to flash TWRP custom recovery that is the most popular one right now. So go to settings, enable and go to develop options and enable USB debugging. Okay. And now connect your USB cable to the phone and the computer. Click on OK. And now let's go to the computer screen. On the computer, download twrprecovery.image file from the twrp website the link is in the description below and download minimal adb and fastboot from the link in the description below after downloading install minimal adb and fastboot and run go, go to the directory first and run py underscore cmd.exe as administrator yes and type adb devices you'll see your device listed below and now type adb reboot boot loader and now click enter as you can see you're in the bootloader mode now let's get back to the computer move your twrp.image file to the installation directory of the minimal nadb fast boot as you can see i have it here twrp.img and type fastboot flash recovery then the file name twrp.img and now press enter as you can see finish total time 0 0.625 seconds twrp is installed now to ensure twrp is installed Click on volume down button once and click volume up to go into the recovery. And here you go. Team Win is working. Let's see the version is okay. Note that if you want to update your recovery or go into another version or install another recovery, you can do it the same way. Absolutely the same. It's a fail proof method. Okay, it's perfectly fine. Version 2.8.60. Now, thanks for watching. Uh, if, you, uh, if this helped you, Please like my video and hit the subscribe button and now to get back to the just to power on go to system you're perfectly done now you can get geeky and do all the stuff you want to do with Android thanks for watching see you again in the next one